like a hell cut. Hello, hello. I just put it in my hand, that's all. I just need it in my hand. Oh, it's too high up. I'm too little. All right. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Um, damn, it's empty as fuck. All right, so I'm a tattoo artist, and if any of y'all are familiar with tattoos at all, any, any tattoos out there? Yes. Oh, okay. So you're familiar with Tattoo Shop Talk. And you're familiar with talking with the tattoo artists. Every now and then I get a couple of kids in wanting face tattoos. They look like flash sheets, Thir Friday the 13th flash sheets, actually, like all over the face. This one kid hits me up, he's like, hey, so I want a tattoo. All right, how much? And well, what do you want? Where do you want to put it? I want to put it over my eyebrow. All right, where do you want to put it? Uh, what do you want to put there? I want to put my daughter's name. Daughter's name. All right, so I start going through his Facebook because he hit me up on Facebook. And then I noticed this kid has no tattoos. He just turned 18. And I'm like, all right, dome pieces. All dome pieces are $100, because I'm a tax them. I was like, but on your hand, I do it for 50 bucks. And not only will I do it for 50 bucks, I'll put a beautiful rose around it, this and that. I'm trying to help him not make a bad decision. He goes, well, for real dough. Not like T-H-O or T-H, you know. No, it's dough a deer, a female deer. Like, all right, okay, little young gangster, got you. Uh, no, all tattoos start off at 100. He's like, I'll give you 80. And first off, as a tattoo artist, we, you don't tell me how much you're gonna give me. I was like, no, dome tattoos start at 100. He's like, it's not my dome, it's my face dome. So I start texting, this illiterate, son, you illiterate son of a bit, wait a minute, he don't know what illiterate means, backspace. No, let me give you a tattoo shop that will do your face tattoo for 80 and send. All right, that being said, uh, another customer comes in. He actually comes here quite often, and uh, I live right around the corner, so uh, we're sitting around talking about pussy, and uh, grandma pussy at that. I was just talking about like Tinder. I'm gonna go on Tinder, just experience it, because I'm newly single, so I need to experience this Tinder thing out of a five-year relationship. Let's see what it's all about. It's a horrible idea. So I go on there, I'm gonna live stream some Tinder dates. Let's do it like this. I'm gonna sit up at the dinner and be like, here, it's breast milk. I wanna see you drink it, that's my fetish. And I wanna change your diapers afterwards, see how they react. All right, if they don't like that, then let's talk about grandma pussy. It's so soft, you can see through that translucent hair. It's magical, no, not into that? How about midget clown porn? I love short people, straight to the, yeah. Really? None of y'all watch porn? <laughs> I find that very hard to believe. Y'all you know, aren't into things that I'm into. Okay, well, Tinder, I definitely got catfished for the first time. This, this female was beautiful. I, stopped, I, I gave up on guys because they just give you the dick pic. They straight up, I'm not that guy, but you want to fuck. Excuse me, I, I don't know you. I'm drawing a tattoo right now. Oh, what tattoo are you getting? No, bitch, I'm drawing a tattoo. And uh, so, she hit me up and I uh, was like, all right, I'll meet up for coffee. Let's see if I can invest an hour into this. Um, I'll meet up with you for coffee. Okay, you're at your break? All right, I'll meet you over there. As soon as I get into her car, blunt break, mind you, safety meeting. Uh, as soon as I get into her car, she talks about how she's living on the couch. She's living at someone else's house. I can't come over. She don't have custody of her kids. And she definitely is looking for a new place to live. Nah, bitch, not me. 